Welcome back, Game Maker. How to make a pause button. We all know there's times where you just have to step away from the game for a few seconds. Here's how you can uh, do something like hit the P key to stop the game for a while. Now, uh, what I have in my room already here is I've already made an object here called Pause Detector. Uh, you'll see it right here. And I'm just going to use that Pause Detector to detect when the P keys hit and then stop the game and draw a little message on the screen that lets the player know the game is paused. So let's go right into the pause detector here. So the pause detector, I'm going to go to the create event and I'm actually just going to make a variable inside of the pause detector that just keeps track whether the game is paused or not. So I'm going to make my variable called paused. Right now I'm going to set it to zero. So zero means I'm not paused, one means I am paused. Okay, that's it for the create event. Let's go to the key press, letter P, and a bit of code in here. And the code here is going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to ask if I'm already paused or not. So if paused is still zero, all right, then I'm going to do a bunch of code. First code I'm going to do is I'm going to set that paused variable to one. And then I'm going to use this command in Game Maker called instance. What my type in here? D activate all, and it takes one parameter, and the one parameter is a little bit of a weird one, but it tells you whether or not this instance, this pause detector, should be deactivated. And true means no, no don't deactivate me. And so we want this to be true because we want our pause detector to basically be the only object that is still active in the game. That way when we hit the P key again, it can unpause the game. So by deactivating every other instance, you're basically going to see, well, you're going to see what we see. Okay, you're going to see everything deactivated. Now that was if pause was zero. Now I'll do a little else command here. Else I want to turn all the objects on. And so let's go for instance, deactivate, whoops, not deactivate, activate all, true. And so that should activate, and I've spelled something here wrong. There we go. No true or false for that one, right? We're activating everything. And I should put that pause variable back to zero. I'm not paused anymore. Now, this is part of it. If I actually just give this little check in the game, uh, let's see what happens. So far, nothing's going to show up on the screen that lets the user know we're paused, but it will pause the game. Cross your fingers. I hit P. And that's basically everything deactivated. You don't see it drawing. Everything's off. I hit P again, and we get to see stuff again, and the game continues on. If you actually watch, the ghosts are right where they left off when I pause and unpause. So that's pretty good. Now, of course, what you probably want to do here is you probably want to do some sort of visual to let the player know that the screen is paused, and it's just not a blank blue or black screen in the background. So that's where we're going to hit the draw event of this pause detector. So let's go to add event, draw, and let's do a little code here. And all I'm going to do with my pause object is I'm just going to ask if my pause variable is currently one, then I have a little bit of drawing to do. Now I'll keep this one simple. I'll just draw like a, I'll just draw a yellow rectangle with the word pause inside. Now a couple of the nice commands to use here. Let's see if I have a font. I don't have any fonts that I've done, so I'll just say draw set color. I'll draw in black. I'm going to do something called set the horizontal alignment. So this will be nice and centered, FA center. I'll also do a little vertical alignment, FA middle. So up and down will be centered on whatever point I mention. And now let's draw a rectangle. Now, if you haven't seen draw rectangles, you should go check a video on it. But um, I'm going to draw my rectangle at, let's see here. 
Let's draw it from 400. I don't even know how wide my screen is. Let's go from an X of 400 and a Y of 300 to an X of 600, a Y of 400, and false. This isn't an outline. It's going to be a solid rectangle. And then let's draw and set the color of my text. I'll just turn it to white, and I'll just do a little simple draw text command. Now I'll try to draw this in between. So in between my 400 and 600 X would be 500, and in between my 300 and 400 for the Y values would be 350. And I'll just write paused. Okay, so nothing too fancy, right? You spend the time and make this look good in your own programs. Okay, that's really it. Let's see if this works. It's probably not going to be centered in the screen in the right place, but you get the general idea. So I hit P, paused on, I hit the button, paused off. So that's a basic pause, right? You probably want to dress that up a bit, you know, make it look better. But it gives you an idea what to do. Now, if you want to check out another tutorial on this, I'm going to build on this one slightly in a different video. It's going to be called Pause Game with the actual screen behind. So when I hit pause, it'll take a quick snapshot of the entire screen here, and it'll draw that in the background so it doesn't just disappear like that, because that looks a little weird. Okay, but this is a good start. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video if uh, you decide to check that one out.